Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel, and I hope you're all having a really, really awesome day. Today's video is a super special video, and I'm so excited to show you guys, since it took me freaking forever, and it was super fun to do, but this is a piece of fan art of one of my favorite singers of all time, and right now my favorite singer is Aurora, and she is so outstanding, and if you've never heard of her music, she is such a cool singer and an amazing creator and artist, and I will talk about her a little bit later, but this is also actually a collab with my best friend, and Mickey is super amazing, and I've collabed with her before, so you guys are probably pretty familiar with her. Um, I'll link my past collab I did with her down below, as well as all of Mickey's information. You should all totally go check her out and subscribe to her and follow her on Instagram. She does a lot of different videos. She mainly does like makeup looks and special effects makeup, which I know she wants to get into. And then she's also started to do covers on her channel and she's an amazing singer. So for this collab, I'm painting Aurora and she's going to cover an Aurora song. And I haven't heard it yet, but I'm sure it's gonna be nothing less of outstanding. And she's just like such a good, like, I don't know, I feel like her videos are always so professional and just the way she talks to the camera, I'm like super envious of because I feel like I'm just like a rambling mess whenever I'm trying to do voiceovers. <laughs> um, but she's amazing and again, please go check her out and give her all the love that you possibly can because she deserves all of it. Also, I kind of wanted to put more effort into like the total aesthetic of my videos. So I tried to like kind of like go out to my backyard and find some clips of things I could add and like, I don't know. I wanted to get like some pretty photos of like trees and stuff to put in so I hope it wasn't too like cheesy or anything. I thought it might be pretty cool and I'm gonna start doing that more, especially like at nighttime, like recording the moon or something if I'm doing like a moon themed piece or like more flowers when it's more into spring or something. I don't know, I thought that might be fun. So let me know if you guys liked the little clips or whatever I chose to put in. I'm recording this voiceover super far in advance. So, um, hopefully it turns out good. So yeah, this is a 9x12 oil painting on a birch panel, and I sanded and primed that panel, and if you're curious about how I did that, I actually used one of Lena Danya's videos and one of Catherine Ward's videos to learn how to prime and sand canvas- I mean, sand panels. So I will also put those videos down below, and if I didn't, just remind me in the comments if you're curious. But um, Lena Danya and both Catherine Ward are- both of them are both such awesome oil painters, so they have a lot of good videos if you want to learn. And then for the supplies I'm using, I will put all of them down below. I bought all of my oil painting supplies online since they are significantly cheaper online. Uh, I prefer to go to the store and kind of see them in person, but then I go home and order them because I know the oil paint set that I have, it's like a student grade um, Gamblin oil color set almost. It was like $90 in stores, which is insane for what you get. And it's like a lot of paint, but I feel like $90 is like super expensive for it. And then on Jerry's Adorama, it was like $30 to $40, so it's much cheaper online if you're wanting to get into like any type of art medium really, unless you're just like wanting to draw with like, I don't know, just like a basic pencil. I'm sure those are really cheap in store. <laughs> And Mickey and I actually talk a lot when I'm painting, since I don't really have anything else to do besides like watch Netflix or listen to music or talk to someone. So Mickey and I were actually talking about a lot of stuff while I was working on it, and it was really funny going through all the footage and like hearing our dumbass conversations. So there were so many parts that were just like idiotic and stupid. And if I can, I'll try to find a little part of one of them and just put them in the video really quick because I think they're kind of funny. Do you leave your camera set up 24/7? 
Um, no, not really. What the hell was that? Something just, a bug just landed on my canvas. How disgusting. How disrespectful. What the hell, bug? Get your shit together. So, yeah, it wasn't a bug. It was just like a random clump or something. But yeah, I mean, I don't know. That, I think that's one of my favorite parts of going through footage is just hearing conversations or hearing me try to like sing or something. I think all that's super funny. And I'll probably put in more bloopers and stuff like that in like future videos because I feel like they're kind of fun to watch. Um, so yeah, this is a painting of Aurora, and it's not really supposed to be like a direct or like a exact representation of her, really, because I feel like Aurora has super sharp features, and if you've never seen her, she is such a funky looking person. Like, she's amazing, and she's so beautiful, and she always has like the coolest hairstyles, and she's just gorgeous, but I felt like when I started painting her, I wanted her to be kind of realistic, but as the painting went on, this happens with pretty much everything I do, but it usually ends up getting super stylized which i love in art i love stylized like pop surreal art and i'd love my art to get more kind of like surreal looking almost but i also want to get more into doing more realistic faces so i don't know i kind of i really love how this painting turned out and i'm obsessed with it and i think it's my favorite painting i've ever done but it, i don't feel like it doesn't really look like her necessarily but her aesthetics there and uh, her features are there like her hair and just the moths and everything her entire aesthetic is so magical and beautiful and her music is so amazing you guys if like the fantasy genre of art could be a like a music genre aurora would be like the goddess of it like her music is so magical and it like when you listen to it it sounds like you're like in some like hidden forest in like freaking norway or something like her voice is so amazing and she's like a little fairy so i'm totally totally obsessed with her and if you've again never heard her music completely go check it out i recommend it completely and oh she's just amazing And I have another video I think planned for this week. I don't know. I feel like I've been wanting to do the two videos a week thing and I'm rambling, but just like I'll be done rambling in a second. <laughs> but I wanted to do the two videos a week and these oil paintings take a super long time. So this was actually supposed to be uploaded a week and a half ago. I don't know, but it took a super long time because I'm still learning how to do oil paints. So I hope you guys don't mind the one video a week for now. Um, and then hopefully when I can kind of get the hang of this more, I can do the two videos a week, especially since I want to do more tutorials. And if you did make it this far in the video, I would love um, more suggestions on what I can do. And I love doing requests and I try to get to almost all of them. So if you guys have any ideas of what I can do, I am totally, totally up for it. And I also have one more collab that I know I have planned for the next couple weeks. But then I think I'm going to close collabs just for a little bit, just so I can have time to again practice oil paints and kind of build a portfolio since by the end of the year I need to have my college picked out for art school and I also need to kind of have like a portfolio put together to apply. So I don't know, I feel like I need, I still have a lot of work to do with oil paints so I kind of want to focus on that for a little bit. And hopefully again I'm not too rambly, I don't know. I don't really plan out these voiceovers any so I'm kind of just like jumping in and talking about whatever comes to mind. So hopefully it's not too bad but I mean yeah I don't really know what else to talk about. I will put all of my social media links down in the description below as well as all of Mickey's links, please go check her out, she's outstanding. And then I'm also going to put the links to Aurora's music and her YouTube channel and like her album and her EP and everything. Please go check her out, she's amazing. And I'm actually going to post this to Instagram, so if you guys can go over there and also tag her in the picture, I would appreciate that so, so much because I would love for her to see this and I am so excited to post it and to see what she thinks of it. So yeah, I think that's it for this video. I really hope you all liked it. I had so much fun doing it and I hope it wasn't too long. I'm trying to keep these videos under 10 minutes, but the oil paintings usually end up taking me hours and hours and hours. 
and sometimes it's hard to get that under 10 minutes when it takes so long and I don't necessarily want to cut out too much since I still want you guys to be able to see my process and things like that. And again, please go check out Mickey. Her cover will be completely amazing. And I love you all so much and thank you so much for watching. I will see you all in my next video and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye guys!